Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Nancy's Art. It is very exciting to do this video today. Um, I will be doing a sunset painting with a girl meditating on top of a rock in front of the ocean. And I may do some gates here, let's see what happens. But I will be going through this um, step by step as best as I can with you. So just please be patient with me and let's get started. Okay, so the colors I will be using in this video, I have here Ultramarine from Artist Loft. I have Medium Yellow from Golden, Heavy Body. I have Titanium White from Golden, Heavy Body as well. And we have also Carbon Black from Golden, Heavy Body. And lastly, we have the Cadmium Red Medium Hue from Liquid Text Basics. These are the brushes I'm going to be using. I have a three quarter inch brush here. This is what I'm going to be using for the sky. I have a fan brush just in case I decide to do any kind of bushes. I'm not really sure right now, but let's see what happens. Um, I have a blending brush here. And we also have a one inch flat brush. I may use this for the water. Um, but let's see what happens and I may end up using some other ones for detailing but this is what I have right now okay guys so these are the mixtures of colors I will be using first we'll be mixing the white with yellow we have white the cadmium red and the medium yellow and we now have also the same um, mixture of the colors here as well just a little bit more um, less we have the titanium white, the medium yellow, and some cadmium red. And down here, this is the ultramarine blue, cadmium red, and a little bit of carbon black. And here we also have the cadmium red as well, ultramarine blue, and the titanium white. So I will be mixing these colors as we go along, okay? Right here, I ran and pre-mixed all of the colors so that way we can just go straight forward with it. Um, so here they are. You see how they're in a certain order here so that way nothing gets all mixed up here in the wrong way. Um, so first, I'm going to be dipping the brush a little, you know, just a bit, not too much water, but you know, just was so not dripping. You know just in the jar of water here this is very helpful with blending when it comes to the paints especially if you're dealing with acrylics because they do dry pretty fast so you do have to be a bit quick with it but just do what you can I mean you can also use this gloss glazing medium this kind of helps it to slow it down a little bit with drying so you can use this as well if you don't feel comfortable with the water so right now we are going to be starting off with the middle which will be the pretty much where the sun is so we're going to be using the yellow here just put a good amount of it i love just doing like just putting the brush in the paint i just love it <laughs> um but let's just start off with the middle here i'm going to have the sun just pretty much right in front of where the person is meditating i think that would be really pretty um so let's just start off here in the middle i'm gonna go over it but it's fine i mean we can always retrace it i'll let if i do have to trace it again i will show you exactly how i did that start off here in the very middle If the yellow is not as you want it, you can always stop what you're doing and, you know, change up the colors a bit to give it that yellow that you like. If this is not bright enough and you want to make it brighter, just add a bit more white to make it brighter. We're going to go to the peach color now. And just take your time with it. Don't, you know, don't rush. Don't. Try not to get frustrated if it's not coming out 
the way it's the way you want it to I mean you know it just takes practice it takes time it takes patience so just just don't worry guys all it just takes time I'm actually gonna go back down here a little bit um, I should have put more yellow but I will fix it a bit it's not a big deal but if that's not the look you're going for, I mean, just continue what you're doing. You don't have to follow everything that I'm doing. But, you know, you got the concept of it at least. And now we're going to be going to this pink color. So you see how I'm just, you know, I'm working up with the colors a bit. Starting to look really pretty. I look even better once we start blending. And then um, we're going to be going to this purple here. I love the colors when they start to transition into a different color. It's so pretty. It just gives it this nice natural look to it. Rather than doing like sharp lines. and It just looks really weird when you do it that way. But um, if that's what you're going for, I mean, hey... <laughs> go ahead that's fine you know we all as artists do paint different so that's you know it's nothing wrong with that it's just about expressing yourself in different ways it's nothing wrong with that at all so now that we have our colors here just kind of cover that bit a bit more what I'm gonna be doing now I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse off my brush and the water What we're going to be using is this little blending brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dip it in the water a little bit. Just a tad bit. A little tiny bit. It's barely any water there. But if you mistakenly just drop it in there, just, you know, just dry it off as much as you can. Just make it damp, not dripping wet because that's just going to mess up the blending. Right. I know I said I'm going to be putting a little bit more yellow, but I think I'm liking it where it is. If I have to, then I'll do it. But so all we gotta do is just simply lightly, very, very lightly, just go into circular motions. Very light circular motions. If you want to go straight across, you can just lightly go like that. I just like it when it's uh, in a little circular motion. I like it both ways actually, but with this painting, I think I'm going to work with the circular motion, which is fine, you know, however you wanna do it. However you wanna do it. Okay, it's starting to look so pretty now. I love blending just to see how the transition just comes out. So beautiful, so, so beautiful. Now, if you feel like you need to blend in the other colors more, you can just add some and just make it work, make it work. Okay, that's all. Just make it work, guys. That's it. So beautiful, so, so beautiful. I love how it just transitioned to the, the bright yellow here. I will be adding more yellow though is very much needed what I will do is I'm going to just rinse it off because it has too much of the other colors I don't want to really mix up the 
yellow i mean the darker colors with the yellow that's just gonna pretty much darken the part where the sun belongs and that is the brightest part so let's just not mess that up And just squeeze all that water out squeeze it all out and if you have a towel or a paper towel that's great just use that to go ahead and just dry off the brush as much as you can or you can just leave it a little damp the way we did it the last time it's fine you know blending guys it really takes patience I suggest if you're um, if you're not comfortable yet with blending i suggest you practice your blending um when i can i will do a video to learn how to blend um because it does get tricky you know there's different ways of blending you know you can blend with um just dry paint which is a bit more challenging for me i guess i don't you know other people are able to do it not that i can't but you know it just takes work it just takes time it takes patience it takes practice if you want to really get good at something practice 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 it's not gonna come that easy overnight so just just take your time with it that's that's all that is all all right so it's fine the way that came out just gotta keep blending that's all just blend So in order to get rid of that circular motion, if you don't want it, just simply, like just lightly, very lightly. I just gotta put a bit more yellow, which is fine. Just gotta keep working with it until it gets to the desired look that you want, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Just don't rush it. There's no rushing, no rushing at all. I think that's pretty I think that's really nice um, however if you do which I may end up doing right now um, I'm just going to just paint in a little bit more yellow just to give it a more uh, brighter look at the very bottom because I really want it to glow you know what I mean so that's pretty much the goal of this sunset to make the sunset part glow give it that glowing look as we all know it as the sunset so you just I mean if you have to go over the rock you listen you do what you gotta do it's fine just just um, take your time to paint over the rock what you'll have to do is though is um, you have to make sure that the paint is completely dry because if not it's not gonna look right if you're making the pencil smudge over it or a charcoal pencil or graphite whichever pencil that you're using you know just make it work all right guys so the sky is completely dry now so we can I've actually already lined out the rock um, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys how I did the actually how I traced out the woman here on top of the rock but I do use um, if you don't know how to draw which is perfectly fine <laughs> not every artist knows how to draw but what you can use is this is tracing paper um, this is very helpful if you don't know how to draw how it works is say you get an image that you want to trace you would obviously put it you will put it behind this paper here and you will trace it out as best as you can and then what you do is you trace it I'm sorry you put the pencil here like you trace it on this side here best as you can and what you do is 
the other side here, you can just scribble, just scribble it with the pencil as dark as you can. And then what you're gonna do is you put it on the surface that you're going to be painting it on or, you know, drawing it on. And then, you know, you do your best to just place exactly where you want it. And then I'm gonna show exactly what I do here. Just please bear with me. <laughs> I had to line it up where I had it before. I really don't want to mess this up. Uh, it's a little tricky right here. Kinda. And then I'm just gonna put it, you know, to where I think it's think think it was there. Let's see. Something. Just do your best to make it straight. So what I do now is, it's already dark, so I'm actually just gonna draw it over again. So you just take your time, trace it. Cause what we're pretty much doing is, we're putting, we're darkening the edges that we are tracing out. That's the whole reason to scribble on the other side. So that way we are marking exactly where we need. So you just trace it very, very slowly as best as you can. So that way you get a nice picture. Just take your time, take your time. So let's see how it comes out. All right, let's see? There you have it. These, I'm telling you, these are very helpful if you need to have a certain shape to your painting, to your drawing, however, and you're not really sure how to draw it, use these. You can buy these at Michaels, you can order these on Amazon. It's just called tracing paper and it will come up. I know we should be doing this first, but I actually want to paint out the water because we're gonna have to do some reflections here as well. So let's just start off with the water. So for the water, I will be using the one inch brush here. And I actually have the colors here that we're gonna be using. So this is for like the lighter shade of the water and this is for the darker shade here. So I'm gonna be mixing them up. Just take your time as you go. If you have to add a bit more blue or add more white, you, you go ahead and do that if that's what you need to do. So this is looking a bit too light. I might have to add a bit more blue, but let's see. Yeah, this is a bit too light, so. Let's just add a bit more blue. That's perfectly fine. You know, sometimes you always have to make adjustments. You're not going to always be exact with everything. So just, you know, do what you have to do to make it work for you. That's it. See, there you go with the blue, the ultramarine blue. All right, I think that looks a bit better. Let's just keep going, keep mixing. Let's see how it comes out. Sorry that I keep putting this down. Just doing what I can to make you guys see exactly what I am doing here. See, this still looks a bit light. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta, you have to really work with it and add as you go, add as you go, okay? I'm adding some more blue here, see? Let's see now what comes up. <laughs> if anything, I mean, you can also add black if you want to really, really darken it, but um, let's see what happens. I think that makes it easier for you guys to see. Okay, see, 
see if this is a bit it's still white you know because remember it's a sunset painting and the water is going to look a little dark um i don't think this is the right blue so honestly i'm just gonna add a little bit of this black here just make it a bit more i don't know let's see sometimes okay now is creating a gray color uh let's see okay and then i have to add the blue again but let's see it does have a nice blue grayish shade to it i'm just not really sure if that will work um wait let's see let's put a little bit of blue make it work guys <laughs> gotta do what we gotta do I think I put a little too much black. Black is such a strong color. You have to be very, very mindful of how much you're putting. Especially, you know, if you have a certain look that you're going for, just add a little bit as you go. Because I, I honestly, I just made that mistake right now. But it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Make it work, guys. Make it work. Work, work, work. Alright, so this is the amount that I added. So now let's see. It's okay if we keep making mistakes. I mean, that's how we learn. That is how we learn by making mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, how will you know what to do next time? You know what I'm saying? So just, just have fun. Try not to get so frustrated. It can get frustrating, but you know, just gotta put every positive energy you can put into what you're doing. That's the most important thing ever. Always put positive energy into what you're doing. That way you'll get positive results. Because that negative energy, hmm, that is not gonna work for you. So make every moment positive as much as you can. If you feel like you're getting, okay, I, you can make it work. It's more like a, it has like a grayish, bluish tone to it, but we can make it work. It's fine. If you feel like you have to stop because you're getting too frustrated, I suggest you, you give yourself a break. You know, get something to eat or something to drink or get some air, whatever it is that you have to do to ease off the frustration please do that because you don't want to put that frustration in your painting because that's exactly what you're going to get a frustrated painting it's not going to come out right at all so guys just please take your time because it's, it's not a a rushing thing you know i mean obviously if you're limited on time then you do the best you can you do the best you can but just make time to take your time with the painting you know when it comes to painting it's not something to rush you really have to perfect your craft you have to see what works for you what doesn't work for you because what works for other people may not work for you so you always have to come up with the best way the best method that works best for you i mean you learn as you go so so what i'm doing guys is I'm now mixing the blue with the black. We don't really need much because this is really going to be like in the background where the water seems to appear darker. Um, so make that work. It just comes out to a really, I mean, it still looks black, but I'm going to have to just add more blue just to give it like that nice navy blue color. See, it completely looks black. And that's fine perfectly fine so let's just uh let's add more blue <laughs> all right guys so 
I actually decided to add more blue because I wasn't really happy with how the result of the color mixtures came out. It just does not match at all. Like this is really, really dark and this just, I feel like this is more for a daytime painting, which is fine. It's just my painting is for a sunset for this one. So I'm gonna just try to work again to see how this comes out, okay? Alright guys, so I think I'm, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put tape here because um, I just don't want to mistakenly mess up the lining of the water. I just, I want it to look as best as it can. So I'm going to just um, place this painter's tape, which is, is, is really useful for your painting. Um, it doesn't stick to the canvas, it doesn't stick to the paint, so it's really Listen, I got this from a supermarket for just $1.99. I don't know why people will spend like 7 or even just $10 for just one little tape. This was literally just $1.99. $2, guys. Just please keep it your budget at a minimum. You don't have to spend so much money on every single art supply you buy. Um, I've learned that the hard way. Um, so I'm really happy that I found a painter's tape that causes that much. It's very helpful and it lasts very long. So, um, so let's get started with the water. Um, so this is the result of the blue that I did. I'm not entirely that satisfied with it, but we have to make it work because I'm very limited with blue now and it's pretty much done, unfortunately. So. We'll make it work we'll do what we can do and once again i'm using the one inch brush i'm just wetting it up a bit with the water because we are going to be doing blending again however with this technique i will be going sideways with this one so i'm not going to do circular motions i don't think it would look right with water so let's do what we can do so i'm just starting off with the darker shade because this is the farther part that appears to be darker uh, let's see don't worry guys this painting is going to look very nice very nice see how it just makes it much easier when you have the tape here okay All right, so you can just brush that in, make it spread a bit. And whatever what kind of blue you have, make it work. Be proud of yourself with what you're doing. Don't don't be so hard on yourself. Make it as dark as you can. If you keep getting like these white streaks, which tends to happen a lot, um, just uh, just try to keep going over it. Or if any, if it's even if that's not working, please just make it dry and then paint over it again. Because sometimes we gotta do that in order for the paint to just come out really nice. You know what, I might not even have to use this blue. I might not have to, but let's see. I'm actually gonna be using this blue now to make it blend and work our way up pretty much. When you're blending, I did wanna point this out when I was doing the sky, but I can do it here. When you're blending, always is, I mean, I, this works for me, but it's always best to start from the middle because if you start here, I mean, you can work your way up. You just got to be really quick with it, but always start from here because it's, it, it, it's much easier. Like you'll see what exactly I'm talking about. Um, let me show you. Hold on. Just keep uh, brushing this in. So you see how it, like once you gently, just gently put it over, it gives it this nice blending. See? It just, it, it just looks so natural like that. 
There you go, see? That's all. And then you work your way up or work your way down, however, whichever direction you want to do it. But see, I just, that, that's it. It works. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with how it's looking. See? This is a really pretty blue, by the way. It's very pretty. Just gotta make it work. This is coming out beautiful. I'm telling you guys, positive energy. Positive energy. It works. No negative vibes allowed in this video. Only positive. Only positive. the water um you gotta be careful i mean unless you're an expert with this but um you can make like little dark ripples in the water if you choose you can do that um i think that's what i'm gonna do just to give it a nice realistic effect with it so just please bear with me if i am taking my time you can fast forward it if you want to but um this is what i'm just gonna do I'm just gonna I just want to put a little motion in the water. You know, that's all. Just little, just little lines, just appearing like, like as if it's waves, like little tiny waves. you can however you do what you love you do what you love like this I think it's best to just make it dry because now the paint is kind of coming off which is very frustrating but um, it's fine it's totally fine I'll do this and make it darker that's all that's it make it work guys make it work Sometimes you can also dab it. See, it's kind of working. That's all. See? Probably just add one more. Spread it very lightly this time. I had to put a little bit of the sky's colors to make it more natural looking because the sky does have to reflect on the water. Alright guys, so what I just did, I added a little bit of the purple I had from the sky here. I added some on the bottom and now I'm gonna do the same with the peach color here um, so I just wanted to show you exactly how I did that um, just you gotta just kind of take your time with it because the paint's a little dry so um, you know that's fine if anything I'm just gonna have to go over it because you don't want to put too much of the color which I just did um, I mean, if that's what you like, then you can keep it, but at me personally, I, I do not really, it's a little, you know, it's not the look I'm going for, so I'm going to just, I'm going to fix it. See, when you blend the, I mean, when you wet the brush a little bit, it helps. To, for the colors to kind of smooth out a bit. Just 
I so I don't know. Yeah, that's all you need. I mean, it's, you don't really need much. See what's happening again? No! It's okay. As long as it's a bit damp, that's fine. See? Fixes it right up. like that. Alright, so I'm going to continue to do this guys and I hope your result also comes out the way that you love it. I will be back once I'm finished. Hey guys, so this is what I have done with the water so far. I have done little, tiny little brush strokes here just to kind of make the water stand out more. Um, I haven't really added any more color um, just because I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna do it. But what I can show you, um, the things that I have done here, was that remember these black strokes that I've done earlier well what I did is to make it appear as if there's like a little wave coming in I went and put this light blue color which is this mixture that I did here with a little bit of white and what I did was put a line right overneath it just to make it appear as if it's like a wave that's coming through. Okay. Um, so, what I'm actually gonna be doing is, wait, where did I stink? It's okay. What I'm actually gonna be doing is I'm gonna put a little bit of few more light blood brush strokes because the thing with acrylics they dry when they do dry the color appears darker than when you first initially paint on the canvas so sometimes you might have to like go over it to make it kind of stand out more so i'm just gonna put like little tiny little little tiny lines not all over the place because I don't want it to appear looking so uniformed and weird. You want it to be a bit, um, a bit like a natural looking, really. You don't want to put like the lines in the same kind of pattern. You want to kind of space them out a bit. And just like that, I mean, I feel like it is a little light, but we can we can darken it, you know, it's not a problem. So I'm just gonna add a bit of more blue just so it doesn't appear so light. I think that's a bit better. I think it's a little darker. So we can just kind of go over it, make it appear more blue and white color. Because that's pretty much what it looks like a bit almost the white color just because the blue is a bit dark but um that's totally fine so i just fixed it up that's all we can do see i think that looks a little bit better it's kind of blended sometimes sometimes that helps i love blending because telling you just it makes the colors appear more better more natural looking i don't really want to put too much light blue up here just because it's going in a darker color, I don't want to mess it up. So we can just, I guess, stop right here when it comes to the waves. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going... To rinse this color out, I'm gonna just take it off the brush completely. 
I'm actually gonna be applying this more grayish tone blue color here for the middle of the water just to make it appear as if you know the glow is standing out in the water I don't want to put like a completely light spot here it's gonna look a bit awkward so you always want to make things look more natural looking to where it's blending little by little lightly and lightly and lightly until you get that light spot but i think i put a little too much on the brush for things like this i think we should put just a little bit i mean there is a little bit here but for me i think it's just a bit too much so i'll kind of dab that a bit on the the uh, I'm actually not going to use the water because I really don't want to mistakenly mess it up by lifting the paint off of the canvas because when you put water on it after the paint has been dried or even while it's still drying, the paint will lift off the canvas meaning that it will create a lot of white spots so we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to be using the glazing gloss because it does help as I mentioned earlier with the blending. What we're gonna do is we're just going to lightly, very, very lightly, just kind of go back and forth with it. So that way, as I said, it can appear like little by little, like the light is coming in. You can do a bigger brush stroke if you want. Um, that's perfectly fine. Just kind of let the lines on the sides do its own thing. Don't control it too much. So you see how it's just kind of, it's just kind of naturally gaining that glow there. But um, we're going to fix it a bit. We're going to fix it. I guess I just had to add a bit more paint. So let's do that. So let's go over this again. All right, since we already got that there, just kind of blend that color going in. See, so it's it just looks kind of. I might have to put a bit of the darker paint over it a bit more. I might have went overboard with it, but it's fine. It is fine. See, I'm kind of taking the focus off of the dark. So I got to fix this a bit. So what I'm going to do is we're going to kind of put the dark paint again around the edges of the lighter space here. So it can, you know, kind of do a little line brush strokes like that. I'm not even using the whole brush i'm just using the very tip of this that's all i'm doing so just take your time with this no rush just adding a bit more paint it's a bit dry it's not fully wet as it was earlier so that's slowly fine uh, okay so you kind of have to just just play around with it a bit I think that looks much better. Just add a little bit more. And I think we'll be all set. Let's add some on this side a bit. So it can make the lines appear more. using the bright yellow that we used earlier for this part of the sky here um, it's a little bit mixed with the blue but it's fine because it's gonna be blended anyway so I'm just 
I dabbed a bit on my towel so it's not too wet because remember we're actually going to be blending it so I don't want it to appear too bright but bright enough to where like the, as I mentioned earlier the light is just there building and building so based off of the look of the reflection from the sun so I'm gonna add a little bit of that glazing gloss to again help with the blending part and again just don't put too much you just want to put a little tiny bit so just kind of dab it like like this you know you don't want to put it into like a one big fat line like that like whoosh, whoosh. you don't want to do that just kind of build the lines in a bit because remember once again we're making the reflections appear as if they're just building in to the middle that's all so just take your time with it guys take your time be patient with yourself don't rush the more you're patient with yourself the more good results you'll get you'll always get good results once you're patient with anything in life not just with the painting but with anything that you're doing always always be patient with yourself you know always be proud of what you're doing even if you are starting out i mean you always got to give yourself a pat on the back for everything that you're doing always always embrace what you're doing with your life with anything that you choose to do always embrace it never wait for someone else to do it for you and then you do it always embrace yourself first that's the most important thing it's the most important thing it's always good to give yourself these reminders to always make yourself keep going regardless of the struggles you might go through due to whatever circumstances that you might be going through so what you can do is actually make the lines appear a bit wider since we're coming closer to the painting i mean the end as like as if this is the front of the water you want to just kind of just kind of spread it out a bit more but i think this is looking pretty good so you just keep it like that just very very minimal not too not too much going on there see i think that looks pretty good just add a little dab of orange i think that's I mainly added the orange here. I mean, I realized we should add some bit here, kind of make it blend in with the yellow here. You may not see it that much, but it's fine. Just put a little bit of glazing gloss. And what you can do, I mean, this is something I normally do. Like, if it's not really smudging with the brush as you want it to, I usually use my finger. You can use your finger. Your finger works wonders sometimes. That a brush probably just can't do for that moment that you need it to do. But I think it's, it's pretty good. I, I'm, I'm really loving it right now. We always want to make um, the colors from the sky appear onto the water because that's what the sky does. It always reflects on the water. So always, always do that. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's times when there's probably not really much reflection, but when you're painting, you do want to make it look as realistic as possible. So I think that's, I think it's looking good. I think we're going to just add a little bit of more uh, yellow here just to make it appear more brighter. I think we can move on to the rock and the girl, which will be pretty much a silhouette. We may do a little 
yellow on top just as a reflection from the sunlight so we can do that as well so what i'm gonna do is just dab here a little bit just kind of do it like that just build and build build and build just, just like that All right guys, so here is the result of the water. What I did was, as from where I left off, I did some very light yellow brush strokes going across. And then for that finished touch on the reflection, I just added a more brighter yellow to make it stand out more, as you can see right here going down in the middle. Now, if you need to pause the video, you can to follow along of what I did. However, if you've already done that, great. You'll just continue on from there. Um, so now we're going to move on to the... Well, we're going to make this a silhouette. Since it's pretty much like we're looking from the back now. So it will appear as a silhouette. As a black figure. So we're going to make the woman black and the rock black. However, if... I'm gonna see exactly how we can put the, not shadows, but the light spots of the reflection of the sun hitting the rock and possibly the girl. So let's get that started. So for that, I'll be using a four, four inch filbert and I will be using this zero liner from Artist Loft. This one is called, um, fire i don't know if you can see that i do apologize but it's fire in me that's the name of the brush that i'm using um so let's get started guys so for the rock i'm actually going to be using a filbert because it's a bit bigger just kind of wet it a bit to where it's not soaking but it's a bit wet just for the paint to be flowing that's pretty much all I have on the brush. Not too much, but enough. So we're going to go carefully with the lines here because we did line this up. Just take your time. Take your time. And give the rock some shape if you're able to. You don't want it to make the paint look so built up on the brush. Just put enough, but don't put too much because then it's just going to kind of make it a little challenging to paint as neat as you want to because that paint will go all over the place. So. here your rock doesn't have to look exactly like mine i mean you can even do a few rocks around the water if you like but just know though if you do that you'll have to put a little tiny bit of a reflection of the rock and that's fine just take your time with that just gonna put a little hump there so you see the brush is a little too wet as you can see it's looking transparent right now that's fine we'll just um add a bit more paint 
There goes to show you I did add a bit too much water. That's fine. Kind of looks nice too because it has that yellowish tint too as if it's reflecting. But I will fix that in a bit. That's, that's it. Um, let's kind of cover this up more. Um, we're going to do this as well. I'm going to purposely leave that little white line there to help me put the light shining from the sun against that to make it appear as if there's a rock there. And just be creative, guys. Just be creative with how you're doing your painting. As I said, it doesn't have to look exactly like this however you choose i mean you can even put trees you don't have to put rocks so we can actually even do this i mean kind of gives it that nice little yellow tint to it see well let's fix that i mean it's not really working but you have the idea of what I'm trying to do here. Seems to be working for these little rocks. Okay. I think that looks really pretty. Now what we might have to do is put some reflection of this rock. Because after all it is black. So what you can do is just. You don't have to really draw out the rock. But kind of. Just make a little outline of it, like that, to give it that reflection look. Because after all, it does need to reflect against the water. So, you can just do it like that. You don't want the brush to be soaking with paint. You want to just kind of dab it a bit on the water. I mean, on the water, on the paper towel so it's a bit dry I think that looks good we might just have to go over with the yellow paint again but that's fine do what we gotta do get done I think that's perfect okay there you go okay we might even have to do another one because of the one. Just kind of make it work with the one. See if that's good. It doesn't really have to be all that perfect, guys. But just, just do your best, man. Do your best. Take whatever time you have to make it work. It will work. Trust me. I'm just rinsing my brush off now because I want to now go to the lemon while this is drying. I'm going to go ahead and just add that finished touch of the yellow. This is how much paint I put on the liner brush. If you want to wet it, you can, but just don't put too much water because after all, it will give it a translucent look to it. So just take your time with it guys I'm gonna start off with the head here take your time guys take your time Just take your time and fill it in. There's no rush whatsoever. No kind of rush.
It's a little tricky, but hey, just gotta make it work, man. Just make it work. It's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna finish filling this in guys so you can see the ending result here. Alright guys, so this is the finished result here of painting in the woman who's meditating on the rock. I love this. This is this is so beautiful. You know, I, I love to look at things like this. It reminds me of myself. So we're gonna just go ahead and continue. We're gonna put in the reflections with the yellow here. And also kind of blend in a little bit of yellow on top of the rock here. I'm going to be using this liner brush here with the yellow. Just to make it a bit more, um, you know, quicker. It's fine. Just take your time with it. Her reflections will still show. Just kind of space it out, you know, to put it in such close, close lines here. It's really good for blending too. If you don't have that, then you can use whatever kind of brush you have for blending. You can use a flat brush, you can use, you can even use a round brush. You just gotta kind of play with it a bit, but these are really good to use. Okay, so what I did, I put a bit of the yellow here with the orange. I mix it a bit, which you can you can probably see it right. You can probably see it right here. It's a little spot there. And what I did, I did rub it on the towel a bit just to not make it so wet. So we're gonna start off here. We're gonna kind of just do this. Give it that look here. And it's a bit too bright, but we'll, we'll fix it. That's fine. Then kind of go right on the top. Right on the very top. Look, because after all, this is a rock. You want to make it look, although it's a silhouette, you always want that glow from the sun to kind of be on it give it like a ok 
Okay, so we're going to fix this part. It's a little too bright. That's fine. Perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to add just a bit black. I'm going to add some black there. Just kind of make it blend out. So it kind of appears as a little tiny rock. More flatter now, but it's fine. It works. It works. Just a bit more. Okay. I think that looks really pretty. What I may do is put this part a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, but I left a little tiny yellow hole there for the opening of her arm. I don't know if I should leave it or see. Maybe we can just put it a little bit bigger, just a little bit, because after all her body is turned, um, I don't want to make it appear as if it's like a... I'm just gonna just put a little tiny spot there. It's like that, it's just a little bit bigger, that's all. much better. I think you can notice it now. There you go. I think that's good. That's really pretty. And if you want, you can put little birds. I think that will make it stand out more too. Birds are really nice. I'm putting some right there. And then the flowers here. Little tiny ones. You can put the birds anywhere, you can spread them out more if you want. Little tiny ones. Make it appear far away. I think that looks really pretty. So beautiful now. We're just doing little touch ups. So I like little brushes here if you want. have to do this but it's fine if you want to leave it like that you can there you go so we'll see the grassy touches here Stuff. 
final touch of the painting. I know I said I was gonna put some gates, but I mean, I think it's really complete. You know, the whole focus of this painting is the woman meditating. But however, if you do want to add the gates, you perfectly can. You can add any kind of gate you want. You can add trees, you can add um, grass, you can add more rocks if you choose. You can add so many things in this painting. You can even add clouds if you like. Um, but this is a very simple yet beautiful piece for me. Um, I personally love it and I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, just please like, comment, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and just leave me any comments. Leave me any questions if you have or any comments that, or I mean, not comments, but suggestions. It's up to you, whichever, you know. I'll be appreciative of it. And thank you so much for watching. I do hope you guys have a peaceful night and to wake up feeling positive and grateful for everything that you have. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye.